day. In this eve of Mental Health Day, while we focus on educating and making aware of its importance and advocating against its stigma, Jubilee Quiz, the research club of Jubilee, have come with an exciting webinar on mental health coping with pandemic stress. Mental health is more than absence of mental disorders. Indeed, there is no health without mental health. It influences so much about how we move through life, how we view ourselves, and how we relate to others. This year's Mental Health Day have come at a time when our daily lives have changed considerably as a result of COVID-19. The past months have brought many challenges substantially increased. Symptoms and circumstances of mental health concerns come in nearly unlimited variation. But above all, they are a normal part of being alive. We must care not only for our bodies, but also for our emotions and thoughts. That is why it has become important to have a healthy mindset. To refresh our minds and enlighten us about coping with pandemic stress, we have with us our beloved Dr. Giri Sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Psychiatry, JMMC RI Trishu. He was the secretary and currently the state executive member of Indian Psychiatric Society. With immense pleasure on behalf of request, I wholeheartedly welcome Dr. Giri Sir and all attendees to the session, hoping to have a great session ahead. Hearty welcome, sir. Thank you, Devanjana. Uh, good evening to all of you. I hope I'm audible. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're audible. Yeah. yeah. So first of all, thank you, uh, the members of uh, Jubilee Quest for uh, inviting me, especially Anusha, to give the talk on uh, this topic, on uh, the background of uh, World Mental Health Day, which happened to be yesterday, that was uh, October 10th, as you're all aware of it, right? So, I don't know how many of you are aware of the theme. This year's the theme was Mental Health for All, Greater Investment and Greater Access. Okay. Now, today's my topic. First, I'll speak about general mental illnesses, disorders, and overview. And then I'll go to COVID and uh, the stress sense management. Okay. Hope I'm clear. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, obviously, I'm sure that you people have an idea about the mental illness and disorders which uh, we usually see in our day to day setting. Now, mental health is very, very important for all of us, right? Not only just doctors, but common people. Anybody, even if it's an IT field person, even if it's a police person, a politician, anybody. If your mental health is not good, then obviously it will affect your work, your personal relationship, your social functioning, everything. So mental health has to be taken care of just like you take care of your medical or any other neurological issues, right? But unfortunately, in our country, mental illness is seen with great stigma. Like in olden days, people with leprosy, how they were looked upon, or people from a lower caste, how they looked upon. Similarly, now in present situation scenario, especially in India, people with mental illness have been considered to be someone with taboo, you know. And because of that stigma, unfortunately, many people are not able to access the treatment at the given period of time. Not only that, many people are still not able to accept that they have a mental illness or somebody in their family have a mental issue. So what happens is that they delay the evaluation and diagnosis because of which the treatment also is delayed. And I always compare mental illness with cancer, right? You know, cancer, if we uh, detect early, if we evaluate early and treat it, we can cure it completely. Same way, most of our mental illness, like depression, anxiety, or even schizophrenia, if you can able to identify it early, treat it properly, effectively, you can completely cure it. But because of the stigma, people don't want to go to the doctor. What they do, instead they go to all other physicians or they may go to religious, magical uh, people, swamis and all these ustas. And when 
the thing gets worse or out of hand, that's when they finally come to us. And by the time it would be too late that we can't do anything. So that is one big issue that we as a social society or as a doctor in the, working in the field of mental health are facing today. Obviously, not only normal people, even there are doctors also who still consider mental illness as, you know, there are many doctors who say that and they misdirect or mislead the people telling them you go to some other people or you just uh, go for out or do exercise or do meditation and your problem is solved but no please try to understand that proper uh, psychiatric illness or disorders is a neurobiological problem just like your stroke or just like your mi or just like any other medical illness it also has a neurobiological basis and you need to treat it if you're not going to give proper treatment it is going to cause huge amount of difficulty to not only the patient but also the family members wherein it causes great disability you know, psychiatric illness are one of the major causes for disability. Disability means, in the sense I'm not talking about handicap. Disability means a person who was functioning very well, who was going for a job, who was earning money because of this illness, like say schizophrenia or bipolar mood disorder, is not going for work because his illness never got treated properly. So he lost so many years of his work. He has no money. His family members uh, are not able to do anything to him. And lifelong, he has to take medication. So he has become completely disabled. So this disability, we can definitely avoid it if we can identify the illness and treat it the earliest. Now, one of the prime example is Sushant Singh Rajput's suicide. Now from the beginning, the media and so many people were terming it as a murder. Okay, whether it was murder or suicide is a different thing, but the uh, logic that many people give for it, like Kangana Ranaut was saying that how can a person who was uh, having so much of money and who is having good lifestyle can commit suicide? Now, suicide or depression can happen without any reason. It can be something called endogenous. That means just the chemical imbalance in the brain itself can cause just like somebody getting cancer without smoking or drinking or having no other associated factors, people get cancer, right? I'm audible? Yes, sir, you're audible. Yeah. yeah. So uh, in between, if it is not is going off, just let me know, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, so... Uh, because uh, he committed suicide, people still can't believe that it's a suicide and not a murder. So, and the way people term it also, that it can't be, you know, there, is, there has to be some reason. But many times, there need not be any reason for somebody developing psychiatric illness. They may be associated with stress or factors which may contribute, but not the only reason. So, our main aim is to create awareness among the people, make the government also aware that psychiatric illness is a real issue. And we need to really invest money for creating awareness through print media, social media, bring more people into this field, create more vacancy for mental health professionals and put more you know, investment into it. That's when that's only the way we can you know, create more awareness, remove the stigma, because ultimately we need these people also to live with indignity in society, just like any other people with any other illnesses live, right? Just like a person with cancer or just like a person with, say, uh, stroke he doesn't have to any have any fear to go and meet any doctor right or show to anyone or tell openly that i have a stroke or i have a cancer or or, or say i have a you know a, a fracture similarly it will be great as a psychiatrist i personally feel that if you know each one of my patient can uh, proudly say that i am having depression and i'm taking medicine just like the particular announced that is the day when you know we can really say that yes you know we have done what we can do for our patients. Now, coming to our uh, topic of psychological impact of cold, right? Now, I'm not going to go in detail about COVID and what is COVID and what has happened, right? Since last almost seven to eight months, we have been constantly hearing, listening, you know, having so many seminars, discussions about COVID. Obviously, that itself is one of the stress factor for many people. So, WHO, our World Health Organization, they did then uh, just a survey and they, and they found that, that how this COVID has impacted the people has uh, happened in the world because of this COVID. One, many people, almost everyone 
some of the psychological issues related to covid among those who are the most vulnerable people or which section of people are affected more first and foremost the front line workers which includes people like us people like you doctors students people who are working uh, for caring the people with covid then it is affecting uh, people in the governments who are also working for covid students i mean all type of students because their classes have been uh, cancelled they have to sit at home and do online ca- uh, classes they are not able to mingle and go out with people old age people geriatric people who are in reverse quarantine you know what is reverse quarantine right that people who are below 10 years and 60 years they should be at home so that that can that quarantine can prevent from them getting covid people with psychiatric illness or mental health issues they are not able to see the doctor because the doctor is not uh, seeing patients properly or the hospital is closed down they are not able to get medications because the prescription is got over so because of all these factors these are the people who are affected the most or they are the most vulnerable people then there was a study in lancet you know they did a study to find out that what are the more common psychological issues dealing uh, with covid and they found that more than 73% of people has been affected with depression then comes fear and anxiety obviously you don't know what's going to happen right next whether i will get covid or not that is the doubt of so many people then anger you know there is among people because especially in kids because they have been locked up in the room for so many months you know they want to get out they want to roam around they want to go to park movie theater they want to eat ice cream outside but they are not allowed especially kids below 10 years that is causing them so much of distress and anger <laughs> then comes guilt guilt of causing the illness that is new to in this pandemic you know because many people who got illness but they were asymptomatic they were not having symptoms of covid but then they passed on the illness to someone who is very senior in the house say their parents or grandparents and who unfortunately developed very severe symptoms uh, category b or c and they are in a very serious critical or some of them have died and that guilt causes the secondary stress to so many people so this are the ways things that have been found in people because of covid depression fear anxiety panic attack anger irritability and guilt obviously the reason is as i mentioned earlier that there is lack of communication among people people are not able to mingle with people they are not able to go out so many people's uh, income has been you know uh, stopped uncertainty about the illness obviously we ourselves also are little anxious that not knowing how long this is going to last because when it started everybody thought it will get over by may but now people are saying that it may last for even next year or maybe next year and some people are waiting for vaccine but there is no clarity about that and fourth and most important thing is excessive feedback about news about covid right i'm sure that all of you have fed up listening day in and day out regarding covid in newspaper in tv people are talking your friends are talking about it so all those excessive information also is causing added stress to people now when you talk about stress right that is our topic covid the impact of covid and the stress now when we talk about stress what are the most common symptoms we associate with stress uh anyway i'll take a break and i want to ask you people because yeah matram thane one way parnu vayalu bore adikkudde anybody you can try stress nu parayumba what are the, the symptoms that you can associate anybody can say uh, anxiety very good anything else okay. if anxiety this is what else happen fear nauseous feeling nauseous maybe like uh, uh, if it is like ex- for an extreme case something like a uh, slight pain in the chest Oh, very good. Mahadev, first year, Rano? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, Namaskar, Rano. Ah, very good. And the time? <laughs> Anything else uh, you want to say? I mean, you're very anxious. Like, just imagine uh, suddenly the exam is announced. Yeah, very good. Uh, very palpitation. Good. Yeah, yeah, palpitation, Taki, yeah, 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 very good. Anything else? You are so sweet. Very good. Excellent. Lose interest okay. in doing something. very good 
unable to study not eating food at all nausea dizziness hmm idokke undayittundi exam la kottu munbu insomnia okay so you mentioned most of the things right so that means we all have undergone some or other kind of stress uh, during some period of our life right very good okay so basically we can divide stress symptoms into four major areas okay physical mental behavioral and emotional nu parayam most of the symptoms you have already mentioned it pashe ayine namaku korchum kuda categorize cheyavane namaku korchum kuda clarity kittum physical symptoms as you mentioned tachycardia or palpitation fatigability you know excessive tiredness you feel you don't know you have not done anything athrakkum velli physical activity onnum cheyidu kanathilla pashe you feel very tired then what you have is mental mental nor in not the real mental but cognitive level that means you lose concentration you are not able to focus namala focus shift hour that means you are you know previously can sit and read for 3 4 hours but now even with 15 half an hour also you are you know concentration you are losing concentration you feel like getting up and doing something else or you are watching a movie but you are not able to concentrate you are concentrating for half an hour and then your mind is going somewhere else or you like switching off uh, you know that movie or web series in netflix which used to binge watching for you know one night whole in the gaana unda ipam oru manikkar polum gaana pattunnilla memory difficulty you are not able to remember things which you usually easily remember adu mental uh, area le behavior part le obviously you feel either lack of appetite you don't feel like eating or you over eat you binge eat you feel like eating too much or you eat at irregular times fidgety restlessness vara your behavior may you can see from far you know course you observe cheyumba alla kaanu pariya bhayangara fidgety avva bhayangara restless avva impatient avan thonu alaga padathana karyangal cheyan thonnu illengil he is feeling very uh, distressed substance abuse idokka behavioral problem nu part aayittu yan pariya behavioral aspect da increased uh, smoking you have seen that exam samayath stress kudumbam some people start smoking right or who are already smoking their number of cigarettes increases or intake of alcohol so all this is part of behavior and finally is emotional as i said you may feel very anxious you may feel you know sad mood also sometimes anger irritability so anger irritability sadness anxious this are the part of emotion so physical aspect mental aspect behavior and emotional in all area la idu usually symptoms namaku kaanunadu and what happens long term la idu ingena continue avuvaanengile it may contribute to medical issues like already if there is a risk uh, or already there is a pre existing illness like diabetes or hypertension what this stress does are the exacerbate you can go uncontrolled hypertension hypertension uncontrolled diabetes ava it can cause to cardiovascular issues gi as i said gastritis thonu namaku gastritis kudi kudi endu varum it can lead to ulcers headache on the you know when you are training so much when you are stress so much you can see you know exam kaiyu ayman thanne namaku bhayangaram valiya or headache aayirukku pala aalukku varunathu you just want to take a pill and just you know sleep off headache mind alle asthma already olla aalukku it can exacerbate it can increase so this is the medical impact which is happening due to continuous amount of stress so with those stress kon angana varudilla but a chronic amount of stress can cause this following medical illness or issues or a pre existing medical illness can fully complete here now ipam stress ellarkum undu le see we all have stress there is no one who can say that we covid vandha shesham enikku stress undayittilla but some people can't manage the stress or some people stress become too excessive some people can easily manage it what are the other factors that influence one's uh, amount of stress there are two factors one is external factors and internal external factors are then okay external means what outside factors like which is not under our hand like life events say for example you had a nice job petana job boy you have seen covid 19 vandha nesham so many people have become jobless so that's a life event or loss of someone close by our relative died because of covid that's a life event which is not in your hand social factors like your work environment 
ലൈക്ക് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സേ നമ്മൾ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന സ്ഥലത്ത് ബോസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ ടീച്ചർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ സുപ്പീരിയർ ഈസ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ അണ്ടർ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രെസ് ആൻഡ് ഈസ് ടേക്കിംഗ് ദാറ്റ് സ്ട്രെസ് ഓൺ യു ഈസ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻ്റ്ലി അബ്യൂസിങ് യു ഓർ ഈസ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻ്റ്ലി ബീറ്റിങ് യു മേക്കിംഗ് യു വർക്ക് ഫോർ മോർ പീരിയഡ് ഓഫ് ടൈം ബിക്കോസ് ദർ ആർ ലെസ് പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ കമ്മിങ് ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ കോസ് ഇസ് മോർ സ്ട്രെസ് എൻവയറമെൻ്റൽ ലൈക് increase noise pollution or increase of light pollution or increase of too much of noise from the tv news or whatever ingana the factors external factors namade stress ne kool precipitate cheyyo then internal factors that means that is within ourselves right which includes our personality traits like some people they are very perfectionist avarku oru karyam valare perfect aayittu cheyyanu cheyidillengil avarku pattadilla and because of that they get too stressed type a personality people like who are always impatient who was always aware of time our kept on time like kalinga cheyanam time la ethanam illai bayangara desham varum those people also can have too much of stress and they cause stress to other people also lifestyle choices like irregular eating habits irregular sleep pattern this also contribute to stress then comes negative self talk chelru konde എപ്പോഴും നെഗറ്റീവ് ആയിരിക്കും പറയുന്ന അവരെ പറ്റി എന്നെ കൊണ്ട് ഇത് ചെയ്യത്തില്ല എന്നെ കൊണ്ട് പറ്റത്തില്ല ഞാൻ വെറുതെ അത് ചെയ്യാൻ പോയ കാര്യമാകത്തില്ല എന്നെ ടീച്ചറിന് ഇഷ്ടമല്ല അവർ എന്നെ പറ്റി മാത്രം കുറ്റം പറയുന്നത് പക്ഷെ ടീച്ചർ മൈ ബി സ്റ്റേയിങ് അബൌട്ട് എവറി വൺ ബട്ട് ദേ തിങ്ക് ദർ ഇറ്റ്സ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർലി അബൌട്ട് ദം സോ ദോസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് നെഗറ്റീവ് സെൽ ടോക്ക് ഉള്ള ആളുകൾക്കും സ്ട്രെസ് കൂടാം ഓർ പീപ്പിൾ ഹു ആർ ഓൾറെഡി ആൻഷ്യസ് അവോയ്ഡ് ഇൻ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി അങ്ങനത്തെ ആളുകൾക്കും സ്ട്രെസ് കൂടാം ബട്ട് ഈസ് സ്ട്രെസ് റിയലി ബാഡ് തിങ് ഞാൻ ഒരു നോർമൽ ലെവൽ ഓഫ് സ്ട്രെസ് പീപ്പിൾ ക്യാൻ ആൻസർ മീ I'll take a break. No, sir. Normal amount of stress is actually useful. Okay, very good. Anybody else? Very happy to be here. Okay. Okay. So, stress into some amount is really good. You know why? Because it motivates you and creates awareness. like as i said exam exam varunu or stress a pashe a stress undu what you will do is that you will give your best right you will try your best to study more invest more time in your reading and you get a better results right but if you are not going to take stress you are very cool relax and i am pinna nokkan padikkan nu ornu povum exam la potti ketta nalle potti thirichu varum pashe still they remain cool pashe what is does is that it creates a sense of urgency and an alertness which is needed for survival also പഴയ കാലത്തൊക്കെ ചെറിയൊരു സ്ട്രെസ് ഈ അനിമൽസിൽ കണ്ടിട്ടില്ലേ ദേ ആർ വെരി സ്ട്രെസ് വെൻ ദേ ഗോ ഔട്ട് ആക്ച്വലി ദേ ആർ വെരി വിജിലൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദേ ലുക്ക് അറൌണ്ട് യു നോ ബിക്കോസ് ദേ ഹാവ് ടു ബി അവെയർ ഓഫ് അതർ ബിഗർ അനിമൽസ് ഹു ആർ ലുക്കിംഗ് അറൌണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ദേ ഹാവ് ടു ബി സേഫ് അപ്പം ആ ഒരു സ്ട്രെസ് കാരണം കൊണ്ട് ദേ ആർ ടു അവെയർ ആൻഡ് ദ നീഡ് ഫോർ അർജൻസി ടു റൺ അവേ വെൻ എനി യു നോ സച്ച് തിങ് ഹാപ്പൻസ് അപ്പം ഫോർ ആസ് ഓൾസോ ദാറ്റ് നീഡ് ഫോർ അർജൻസി ആൻഡ് അലർട്ട്നെസ് ഈസ് സംടൈംസ് വെരി ഗുഡ് ഫോർ അവർ സർവൈവൽ we can plan things properly in future so stress is not always a bad thing but when it becomes bad is that it starts affecting your daily life it starts affecting your personal relationship it starts affecting your occupation your functioning your relationships that's when and that continues for a long period of time that is when you need to really sit and understand and realize that yes you are suffering from stress okay so apa stress enda nu manasilai stress inde factors enda nu manasilai nalla nu cheedha nu manasilai so now we come to the management right stress enda nu manasilai so now what you have to do is that we need to do understand what we have to do for overcoming stress apa inde first step is what recognizing that you have stress അതില്ലാതെ പറ്റത്തില്ലല്ലോ ലൈഫ് ഐ ഹാം റണ്ണിങ് അറൗണ്ട് ലൈക്ക് എ മാഡ് ഓടി പിടിച്ച് നടക്കുക നെഞ്ചിടിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇതുണ്ട് കൈ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ഐ സി നോ നോ എനിക്ക് സ്ട്രെസ് ഒന്നും ഇല്ല ഞാൻ പോകില്ല കുഴപ്പമില്ല പക്ഷെ ഇങ്ങനെ വരയ്ക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കൈ എക്സാം കൊണ്ട് പുറത്ത് നിന്ന് ദറ്റ് ഇസ് നോർമൽ ബട്ട് വാട്ട് ഐം സെയിങ് ദാറ്റ് എക്സാം അല്ലാത്ത സമയത്ത് നോർമൽ ടൈം ഓൾസോ യു ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് വെരി ഫിജിലിറ്റി യു ആർ വെരി റെസ്ലെസ് യു ആർ നോട്ട് ഏബിൾ ടു കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യു ആർ ഹാവിങ് സം എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് സ്ട്രെസ് so recognize the problem that is the first and foremost important thing because many times people don't recognize that why because they think if i recognize that means that is my admission of weakness 
or my inability to cope up baaki ellarku or kodappu illa appo iniki kodappu engana varan saadha eh iniki kodappu illa no same thing happens with depression or anxiety people don't realize that they have a problem or some or in addiction addiction athe etta valiya prashnam many times when alcoholics come for de addiction avulla veetukar pidichondu varumba njan choyikkum prashnam undo ningalku eh doctor iniki oru prashnam illa appo ningal indha kallu kudichu rendu vera adichu nu parannu eh adonnu prashnam illa enikku appo madhyavana prashnam illa alla then i tell them see ningalku treatment edukkanengile the first thing is that you need to accept that you have a problem ad accept cheyidu ad accept cheyidond ningal cheriya aagan povunnilla adhe ningal aaru theri vilikkan povunnilla ad nalla oru kaariya it's a good and brave thing that you're doing so in here also first admit that you have a stress you have a problem and you need a help okay because once you accept that then only you can identify problem and also can make plans how to overcome it based on which area uh, it's affecting and ad engena unda ennalladu so once you have accepted that then comes change changes that you need to bring in your life which is in three major in your behavior and change in your lifestyle okay thinking behavior and lifestyle now thinking nath namaku endokke cheyan pattunnathu okay see stress varuma nammal endha nammada thinking illa kooda race aanadhu endha sambhavikkum endha avani bhayangara ella moshavai povu anallo so our thinking koodumbla again that sense a signal to our body which causes uh, distress palpitation koodum gastric problem koodum aringa breathlessness varum chest discomfort varum why because nammada thinking koodu when you're sleeping in the night really nicely you're not thinking anything else you're not having any symptoms so you have to start changing your reframing the thoughts like for example we say challenge your thoughts if you're stressed that tomorrow i'll get covid okay so what what will happen the maximum what worse can happen challenge yourself right reframe the question okay if i get covid so what i'm already prepared i know where to go i know whom to consult and i know that if any there issue happens also there are people who can manage me and rest is in the hand of god or whatever supernatural power so i don't have to worry but the same way the other person may think that no no any covid vanna ya ini poi ini kini aishu kadakkam iya and the life ellam poi ini onnu padikkan mattilla so you know that thinking once it starts going to the negative loop then it keeps on happening again and again so you need to stop it cut it reframe your thoughts to a positive one if you think that you are for example many people are stressed because they are not able to do anything so then what you have to do focus on your strengths and the way you towards life like we have seen many people in this lockdown are using this opportunity to find some new talent new hobbies like cooking or reading writing painting singing so many things something that can distract your mind ile because 24 hours if you keep thinking about the stress and anxiety you are only focusing on that but then once you start diverting your mind once you start distracting and looking for other opportunities that can give you some kind of happiness and relaxation why not so to focus on that you have to plan you have to think again thinking and that varunnundu you have to think that what area i can do well where i can look for opportunity and surround your people also with you know or your family members who can help you out to see that your behavior is changed okay next is change in <coughs> sorry change in thinking next is change in behavior behavior na naal area you have to mainly focus on first is organize organize yourself your daily routine and then your surrounding that means now i am sure that nowadays ningalku online class and waiting nirikkunnundu pala aalukalum avare sleep pattern oka change aayikanu they instead of sleeping at 10 or 11 you will be sleeping at 2 o'clock and getting up instead of 6 or 7 you are getting up at 9 10 so adine namaku organize cheyanu your food habits adine namaku organize cheyanu your room and surrounding clutters undengile allengile disorganize cheyanu adine organize cheyanu that will give you some kind of positive feeling positive energy therum so you have to organize each and everything right from your own self to your personal stuff to your environment right 
ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് വേ വെൻ യു സി വെൻ യു ക്യാൻ സി അല്ലെ നമ്മളൊരു ഷാബി ആയിട്ടുള്ള റൂമിൽ പോകുമ്പോൾ യു ഫീൽ ലിറ്റിൽ ഡിസ്ട്രസ് റെസ്ലെസ് ബട്ട് വൺസ് ഇറ്റ് ഐ ഡി നല്ല നല്ല ക്ലീൻ ആയിട്ടിരിക്കുന്നു വലിയ വലിയ സാധനങ്ങളൊന്നും വേണ്ട ബട്ട് വെൻ യു സി ദാറ്റ് യു ഫീൽ ലിറ്റിൽ ഹാപ്പിനെസ് ഗുഡ് ഫ്രം ഇൻസൈഡ് സോ സെയിം വേ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ടേൺ ക്രിയേറ്റ്സ് എ പോസിറ്റീവ് എനർജി സെക്കൻഡ് തിങ് ഇസ് വെന്റിലേറ്റ് യുവർ സെൽഫ് വെന്റിലേറ്റിംഗ് യുവർ ഇമോഷൻസ് ലൈക്ക് യു മേ ഹാവ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് പെൻഡ് ഓഫ് ആംഗർ സാഡ്നെസ് ആങ്സൈറ്റി ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് വെരി ക്ലോസ് ഫ്രണ്ട് ഹൂ യു ക്യാൻ ഷെയർ ഓൾ ദിസ് ഡു ഷെയർ ഇറ്റ് ബട്ട് ഇഫ് യു ഡോണ്ട് ഹവ് എനി വൺ ടേക്ക് എ ഡയറി ആൻഡ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഡൗൺ സോ ദാറ്റ് വൺസ് വാട്ട് ആർ ഹാപ്പൻ ഇൻ എ ഡേ വാട്ട് ആർ ഹാസ് കോസ് യു ഡിസ്ട്രസ് വാട്ട് ആർ കോസ് യു യു നോ സാഡ്നെസ് റൈറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഡൗൺ ആൻഡ് ജസ്റ്റ് ലീവ് ഇറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഇനഫ് you don't have to write a stories or anything but things that impacted you it can be negative it can be positive also but just do it ventilate it okay once you write it down and when you read it again you may realize that are this is not that big issue actually i, I was giving too much importance to it but actually it's a small thing or it is something that may not matter to me 2 years 3 years or 5 years down the line so i should not bother too much once you write it down read it you will realize it but once you are thinking in your mind you may not realize it apo that also in a way is going to help you to cope up with your stress okay don't overload your mind that's what i'm saying don't overload your mind with all unnecessary stuff just remove it just like you remove the cobweb and other things in the house and make it clean like that remove all the unwanted negative thoughts in your from your mind write it down and just leave it shut down the diary and forget about it don't think too much or don't give any importance to the stuff that you feel is not going to help you in any way okay prioritize that is another important thing prioritize things that you are supposed to do okay in next say one week or one month what are the things that you are supposed to do focus on that plan well you can do about it and do only those stuff which you can manage don't take unnecessary stuff or unnecessary stress that you think it may not be achievable take things that are more easy and more approachable to do okay then change in the lifestyle okay lifestyle endo ke pinna pinna ullathu behavior nattu vera rendu karyangal undu onnu humor humor sense adu namukku ellarkum chalarku nalla koolil undu chalarku kore korava le but they are saying that is stressful situation la korchu humor undu undengil you can manage things much more easier right and the work place la among friends la once you know you take things in a lighter vein then your stress reduces isle you obviously seen that when you laugh with your friends when you make jokes you are ultimately relieved you are much less stressful improves your what humor does is improves your you know pumps endorphins and that natural pain killer for the body it relieves your muscular tension so humor is a good thing if you have it they are you know bring it out or if you don't have it try to develop it if possible okay and the last in behavior is diversion and distraction and that's the banner you know you do things that can you know divert your mind into some hobbies or some activity that can make you happy distract yourself from all this news and all this uh, media things or facebook things which you know you feel is unnecessary cluttering your mind or causing unnecessary stress and try to calm yourself down obviously breathing exercise adu yan pinna paraya the next in that so next is change in your lifestyle that is lifestyle la endokka varunadu diet exercise sleep and relaxation technique diet exercise sleep and relaxation technique diet yan parayanda illo junk food okka maatuva nalla fresh fruits kalikka vegetables kalikka timing should be perfect every day have same time when you eat the food uh food like in the amount you have to be very careful because that also matters a lot i never did detail i'm saying but i think you are having an idea about the diet thing exercise exercise is very important because they say that daily morning when you get up if you can do 20 minutes to half an hour exercise it will have a great impact in your mind and body not only it will give you more of vitamin d which in turn helps your immunity but it also causes a lot of blood circulation which in turn makes you body you know and mind relaxed so exercise is very important thing sleep again sleep is one of the major thing that get disturbed when you know you have stress alle 
either you have very disturbed sleep or you have irregular sleep cycle like you know you are sleeping by 2 o'clock and at 2 o'clock in the night and late night and you get up uh, 10 o'clock so irregular sleep cycle, disturbed sleep is also one major factor for stress or it's a uh, symptoms of stress apa what you have to do is that try to see that you go daily to sleep at the same time say say you know 10 to 11 and number maximum margin and get up by 6 to 7 in the morning or average 7 hours of sleep is necessary minimum 6 hours undisturbed sleep na parayunnathu disturbed sleep alla minimum 6 hours average of 7 hours maximum 8 hours of undisturbed sleep if you can maintain it definitely your stress will come down nere marche if you have a disturbed sleep or you have irregular sleep cycle your stress will definitely increase many folds last is relaxation technique ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ എല്ലാ പേഷ്യൻസ് ഹോ കം വിത്ത് സ്ട്രെസ് ആൻസൈറ്റി ഐ ടെൽ ദം ദാറ്റ് വെറും അല്ല വേറെ സിമ്പിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ടെക്നിക്ക് ഈസ് സംതിങ് ഓൾ ഡീപ് ബ്രെത്ത് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഡെയിലി നമ്മൾ ടു ഗെറ്റ് അപ്പ് ഏർലി മോർണിംഗ് ബ്രഷ് ഒക്കെ ചെയ്ത് നാമായിട്ട് ഇരുന്നിട്ട് ടേക്ക് സ്ലോ ഡീപ് ബ്രീത്ത് ഞാൻ സ്ലോലി ഇൻഹെയിൽ ഗോ മാക്സിമം ഹോൾഡ് ഫോർ ഫോർ ടു ഫൈവ് സെക്കൻഡ്സ് ബ്രെത്ത് ഹോൾഡ് ചെയ്യുക സെയിം വേ സ്ലോലി എക്സേൽ സ്ലോ ഡീപ് ഇൻഹെയിൽ hold 4 to 5 seconds and slow deep exhale and have it 20 times morning chair and evening chair patange uchchu also you can do this whenever you are having any panic attack like say suddenly you feel palpitation breathlessness you are not able to breathe properly you know that is a panic attack do this exercise adu korchu la fast aid chair ya matter valare slow aid ana idu korchu la speed utti chair or 10 times chedal madhi allada normally if you can daily get up and before sleeping if you can do 20 times a slow deep inhale and exhale at least for 10 days to 2 weeks you can definitely see the change in the stress this deep breath technique obviously can do meditation yoga if you have enough time for that other like this is very simple technique it won't take even you know 2 to 5 minutes also maximum if you do it properly so ലൈഫ് സ്റ്റൈലിനകത്ത് നമ്മുടെ ഡയറ്റ് എക്സസൈസ് സ്ലീപ്പ് ആൻഡ് റിലാക്സേഷൻ ടെക്നീക്ക് നമുക്ക് ഫോളോ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുവാണെങ്കിൽ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യു ക്യാൻ ഓവർകം യുവർ സ്ട്രെസ് അറ്റ് ദ എർലിയസ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് സ്റ്റിൽ യു ഫീൽ ദാറ്റ് യുനോ ഇതൊക്കെ ചെയ്തിട്ടും മാറുന്നില്ല ആൻഡ് യു ഹാവ് എ ഫാമിലി ഹിസ്റ്ററി ആൻഡ് യുവർ ആൻസൈറ്റി ഈസ് ഇൻക്രീസിംഗ് ഡേ ബൈ ഡേ ആൻഡ് യുവർ സ്ലീപ്പ് ഇസ് കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി ഡിസ്റ്റർബ് ദെൻ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി യു ഷുഡ് സീക്ക് എ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് എ സൈക്കാട്രിസ്റ്റ് ഓർ എ സൈക്കോളജിസ്റ്റ് അറ്റ് ദ എർലിയസ്റ്റ് okay we parna techniques namma thinking changing in our thinking changing in our behavior changing in our lifestyles uh, what are the factors affecting us adu nam change cheyan pattu anengil adokka change cheyidittum namukku indatha vyathasam vannillengil definitely you can consult a psychologist or psychiatrist and medication irukkunnathu oru vashamum thonana avashyam illa maybe you have a general psychiatric disorder or you may have underlying depression which is masking as you know oru uh, stress level like vannathu or stress leading to a depression so whatever it is if you consult definitely they can help you to know what exactly uh, is the issue apart from the stress and and the way your management and whatever help is needed that can be provided on time so basically in the management itre ullu accept that you have problem okay and aware of your stress concentrate on controlling and managing your stress and stress. have a healthy lifestyle need a normal good life devoid of all other things in my karyangal normal at cheyan pattuvan then you can definitely overcome the stress and always and always remember that e covid and whatever pandemic is not going to stay forever right we all are part of it we all are fighting it to right and definitely we'll overcome this sooner or later but if you allow this stress or anxiety to continue that will have a long lasting effect on your life and people who are closer with you so this also shall pass too soon and always remember that whatever we are going through this is a quote i want to just uh, let you know which i like you know is that one day when you look back you can tell your story of how you overcome what you are going through now 
and it will become a part of someone else's survival guide. Right? So with that, I end. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, I think if anybody is having any doubts, uh, they can ask personally or uh, in the chat box. You may just post it in the chat box. Yeah. You will read and let me know. Yes, sir. Okay, I don't want to make it so monotonous. Whatever doubts they have, they can ask me openly. That will be more better. There are a number of times, 6.30 very low. Allow time. Yes, sir. Um, sir, uh, yeah, yeah. how do you help a person who's having kind of like a panic attack? Like, uh, obviously, we should have, um, call for uh, an elder person or somebody who knows the situation well, but still, almost like first aid, what, what should we do? No, you're asking uh, if your friend gets panic attack, that's when, or when you yourself have? No, someone else. Yeah, no, someone else, if it gets a panic attack, first of, of course, is what you have to do is reassure him that, you know, just relax. If you know surely that it is panic attack, not any other cardiovascular related issues. I mean, if he had previously this thing and you know, you're sure that it's a panic attack only, you reassure him, just make him sit in a place first. Try to see that he is relaxed in that place, wherever he is at. I mean, if it's a very uh, place where there is so much of commotion, so much of noise or disturbance, that is not a right place. First and foremost, try to find a place where he can be relaxed, devoid of all these uh, external uh, noises or whatever. And then you can just tell him to slowly take deep breath in and deep breathe, as I said. That is the first simple first aid you can do for panic attack. Deep breathe and deep breathe out for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Then slowly it will come down. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So we have some questions in the chat box. Uh, yeah. May I read it or can you see the chat box? Yeah, uh, James has asked difference between stress and anxiety. So actually there's no much difference, you know, stress, anxiety is a part of a stress. Okay, anxiety is what basically your fear of unknown. You don't know what's happening, you know, or what is going to happen. That is a symptom, which is part of a stress. When we call as anxiety disorder or generalized anxiety disorder, it have all associated physical symptoms also. So stress is what we call, generally broadly we say, you know, as I said, stress in the underlying depression, varam, anxiety, varam, kore karing, varam. stress is a broad term, you know, of which anxiety is one of the symptoms. Hope that is answered. Yes, sir. Is it possible to cure depression or dysthymia without any medication? Okay. Uh, good question. See, uh, <clears throat> depends what type of depression that person is going on. See, there are many types of depression, as I said. The most commonly that we encounter in our clinical practice is endogenous depression. That means the person is having depression without any cause. That means it's not a part of any uh, grief reaction due to death or it's not reactive depression due to say job loss, divorce or something like that. So uh, first we have to find out whether what type of depression it is. If it is uh, endogenous also, or if it is uh, endogenous, if it is mild to moderate, they say that we can first try with cognitive behavioral therapy, that is psychotherapy. And if still it's not get better, go for medication. But if it's severe depressive disorder, that means the patient having suicidal thoughts, patients is having low mood, is having feeling of worthlessness, then definitely one because it's not a position which is required in such cases. Risk definitely admission and medication. This time again is depression, chronic depression for more than two years. Again, if it's part of his personality or it's an environment, again by CBT or cognitive behavior therapy, we can try to you know help the patient reframe the thinking thoughts. And if 
patient to some extent can understand and you know uh, overcome most of the symptoms because this time means two years two years means it's a long period of time so some of the symptoms may still remain but with that if the patient is fine able to work and cope up then you may still avoid medication but those assisting and that is affecting his work and relationship definitely we have to go for medication thank you sir, sir. could you yeah could you skim over a fit mind how a fit mind looks i think she meant how a normal person is now we know how a healthy body should look only we know what the goal is we can work towards it right so that's a question or she's telling me uh she's <laughs> she's asking you like um we all know what yeah how an abnormal person uh looks like or how an abnormal person behaves but uh, a normal amount of stress is there in almost all, everybody right so what limit is normal no, how much is normal stress now maybe she is saying that you know we know how a healthy body should look right because from the look we can know but mind we can read so uh, how a fit mind looks so only if we know what the goal is we can work towards it a question chochi all morning directly unda chochi what exactly she wants sir dilla sir she meant to ask ah yeah i meant to ask how uh, a normal mind thinks only if we know how like some thoughts namko no screen se hum batao lo like is this thought normal or do i need help or should i focus on changing my thought how do we know like now when we look back we feel some thoughts were abnormal like i'm going to think it out to make in a face is wrong so how do we know what is fit and what is not healthy and i see angana in pratyekshara criteria illa like you know if you have so many thoughts and the eda nalla thoughts and eda fit thoughts and eda unfit the only problem with the thoughts is like say for example uh, if you are overly uh, giving importance to particular thoughts and because of that it's disturbing your normal functioning okay like say you are thinking about someone a person okay is obsessed with someone person and that person the thoughts are going pretty very not you are not able to focus on something else you are not able to do your normal work then obviously there is an unfit thought and which you need to overcome at the earliest as namal konde pattinengil obviously you can take a help of a uh, medical pro- or mental health professional uh, as long as you are able to manage it as long as you are having aware of that thought uh, it's fine i mean everybody won't have all good thoughts fine fit thoughts all the time that is not possible okay. everybody will have some or other kind of negative thoughts or thoughts that is actually not uh, very good for that person that given period of time but then as long as you are able to overcome it over the period of time because see namku naturally venamlo illa ellathinu namku odi povan pattadilla ee chela thoughts as long as adu or thought mathrame namku vachittu baaki kaaryangalukku namku focus on pattu vanengil it is fine you should not be worrying too much about it unfit another okay. only when that thoughts intrudes into other areas understood oh sure yes sir thank you sir hello sir hello now welcome sir welcome uh, okay come ah uh, sir sir edwin sir pass out a jubile sir sir and veendum kelkan sammich first of all i'm so glad to hear you again because sir the class one of the engle etting enjoy the class ayirunnu ഞാൻ പെട്ടെന്ന് ഫിലിംസ് ഒക്കെ ക്ലിപ്സ് ഒക്കെ പറഞ്ഞ് വളരെ കുറച്ചുണ്ടായിരുന്നെങ്കിലും ക്ലാസ് ഒക്കെ എൻജോയ് ചെയ്ത് പെട്ടെന്ന് ഓർമ്മ വന്നു ഓക്കെ സാർ സാർ ക്രിസ്ത്യൻ നമ്മുടെ ഈ റീസെന്റ് ആയിട്ട് സാർ നമ്മുടെ സൊസൈറ്റിയിൽ കുറെ അധികം സൂയിസൈഡ് ഐ മീൻ യങ് ഏജ് കുട്ടികൾ സൂയിസൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു ഫിനോമിന കാണുന്നുണ്ടല്ലോ സാർ നമുക്ക് ന്യൂസിൽ കാണാം ഫോർ സിമ്പിൾ റീസൺസ് കൂടുതലും പറയാൻ പറ്റുന്ന വിക്ടർ സ്റ്റാൻഡിൽ ഇത് കിട്ടിയില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ പോലും സൂയിസൈഡ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ന്യൂസ് നമുക്ക് കേൾക്കുന്നുണ്ട് സാർ മൈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇസ് പലപ്പോഴും അത് ഇന്റർപ്രറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് മീഡിയ പലപ്പോഴും ഇന്റർപ്രറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അതിന്റെ കോഴ്സിനെ പോയിന്റ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് കൂടുതലും മൈ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഇസ് സാറിന് ഒരു കമന്റ് എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടത് ഈ എന്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് കുട്ടികൾ പണ്ടൊന്നും കാണാത്തൊരു ഫിനോമിനൻ പോലെ ഇപ്പോ വെദർ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയെടുത്തോളം അറിയാൻ വേണ്ടിയാണ് 
Yes, exactly. No, you you self uh, said the answer. One of the major issue is that even all the nuclear family, okay, nuclear families. The issue is that they don't have proper support system. Secondly, many people or the this new generation, their personality also is comparatively very difficult, very sensitive, very suggestible compared to what was there in the previous generation. So two three things. Even parents also. See many kids in their personality develop on the how they look on their parents. Okay, if parents in them, our day or young generation, they may not had a proper support. So other our day behavior will be there. If you take along, can not there. That is one thing. Second thing, coping mechanism. Because as you can see that if I'm in my generation and all that, we have a lot of friends, we have a lot of time to talk. If other generation, if you see, all are busy with the mobile, all are busy with the TV. More of social media impact are cool. All go into there. And see, suicide. Chhi hai na. There may be so many factors. I mean, like, if Facebook le friends ka lena kare chhi kando, or if some doshne to kando, our kari madhi hai na impact hai. Every small things that nowadays, which is more easily accessible, was not there available once upon a time. We are more happy by watching our TV, and that's it. Itpom kamni ko ul aniye thende. Our depth thila the boy. You don't feel like expressing and talking yourself to people. See, previous also people had social thoughts, but they had someone to talk to. They had someone to go over, sit and tell things. If I'm not going to do that, our heart to heart talk not going to do that. You know, where you can really feel that this person has understood me. You know, there is a story in Australia. Okay. I don't know whether many people have heard about or not. Uh, okay. Australia, there was a person whose house was near the cliff, and that cliff was famous for so many suicides. And once he Once he just stepped out of his house and he saw one person was about to commit suicide, he just went, you know, tapped on his shoulder and said, "What happened? Tell me what is your problem." Suddenly, that person felt like talking to him and he came along with him and he sat. And then, some sorry, some sorry, he persuaded him, you know, not to commit suicide. From that day onwards, it seems that he has saved at least more than ten thousand people from committing suicide just because he was there to talk to them. Nothing else he did. He just lended his ear. And he just listened to the problem. And once that people who were ready to commit suicide, once they spoke to him, they felt so nice and they went home. After all, our moment if you have someone to talk to and just discuss is enough. Adi nte kahan thondo? Ada question. Okay, I answer. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Um, sir, we have another question in the chat box. Uh, how to manage? Uh, what? What? ഡിപ്രഷൻ <laughs> 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 and appetite na put action cheya if you are thinking that you are eating little more and maybe putting weight i think corresponding i to exercise cheya but look at the calories that you are eating if you are eating way beyond that you are supposed to be and cut down cheyana la nokka and cut down and ede okke nammal kooda kaikina nammal list undaki kaiyittu then try to omit the things that you feel that are causing excessive calories that is enough enikinda kaikina nal kooda body weight inde prashna na kooda aalu kollathu Yes, sir. Sir, we have another question too. Uh, may I ask? Uh, yeah. It's from Shmriti. Can a person with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder lead a normal life with medication? 
Very good question. Obviously, yes, absolutely no doubt about that. Provided, provided that we start the treatment for schizophrenia or bipolar at the earliest. In the end, I talked initially about that. The biggest problem is that many times schizophrenia or bipolar mood disorder people either come late to us or if they come early, they start treatment. But before the illness settles, they stop the medication. And then the relapse happens. I'm going to go three to four times relapse. Then it becomes very chronic. Along with that, uh, in some cases like schizophrenia, if there is a strong family history and if the patient is having negative symptoms of schizophrenia, like uh, reduced emotional effect, reduced speech, uh, reduced mo motivation in life, I'm going to symptom on a lifelong self of my own care. And normal life, I don't need to be able to do that. But apart from that, short duration of illness, very short or acute duration of illness, no family history, only positive symptoms like, uh, you know, anger, irritability, and serious suspicious mathre or the stronger treatment, they follow the uh, treatment guidelines properly or they follow the treatment regime till we say, people can definitely lead a normal life with medication or even sometimes can stop after five years, two to five years, depending upon how many, how, you know, see where the symptoms were. Okay, sir. Uh, we have another question too. Is getting irritable a part of stress? If so, how do we manage? Yeah, uh, getting irritable anger is part of the stress. And uh, recognize here how to manage first First, recognize, accept that this irritability is part of my stress. Our stress and the cause. Every cause of another. Is it uh, related to work? Is it related to studies? Is it related to my personal space, my environment, my family? stress manage carrying the plan Okay, sir. Are there any other questions? We have one last question, I think. Uh, sir, how to distinguish between depression and dysthymia? If a person wants had these, is it possible to come back to the original productivity and lead completely normal life after six or seven years? Yeah, see, depression definitely, uh, they say that some depression, good uh, medication would come and subside high power on the patient's method. Uh, a medication usually, if first episode running, usually we give six months to one year, uh, second or third episode running, two to five years duration of giving medication. But what happens is many times they stop medication. Normally, from six months or three months, they stop you. One year or six months, they stop you. And that's where the whole problem starts. You know, never because of the lack of awareness, nobody is taught them in school or college what are the you know, mental illness, depression, and that. Nobody has any idea. So they uh, don't take medication properly. Dysthymia is a chronic condition. Uh, most of the time, all the symptoms are not in the uh, at least to an extent that they can function normally and lead a normal life is possible. Uh, yes, sir. We have one more question, I think. Which uh, is the migraine? Uh, that was an incomplete one. We have another question from Sebastian below. So can multiple personality disorder be caused by past trauma or depressing episodes in one's life? Can that be a cause too? Yeah, see, multiple or dissociative identity disorder, as we call, will definitely have a existing stress or stress something uh, which was there previously. But she, I have no relevance on that. All that one past version number on that stress. If I'm even going to come to that, I will do my stress. I am not even dissociation. Usually, even dissociation are not currently. Uh, husband is alcoholic and keeps uh, you know not giving money and he comes every day and beats up the wife and wife na arith lenda chain or he keeps taunting her day in and day out mother in law also is uh, abusing her our stress completed to come back to her, she may go into dissociative identity disorder, multiple personality disorder. Obviously, these people have an underlying depression. Hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, this COVID time, even if uh, some of us have some mental issues or mental health issues, uh, we are afraid to go to a hospital, consult a doctor. Is there any platform or a, a portal? 
online yeah, online, online consultation center yeah yeah now telemedicine has started it's been approved by the government of india people can practice telemedicine anywhere in india uh, so many apps are there uh, or you can consult the doctor directly with your number if your doctor is comfortable like through whatsapp or zoom uh, people do it i have my own personal app through which i give to the patients and they consult me anywhere in the world in fact okay sir thank you Um, thank you, sir. So, is there any more questions? Thank It's you. almost six forty. Ah, uh, Vishnu, please answer the question. Under the migraine, there is a doubt. Ah, uh, migraine. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, she has asked me uh, privately. The uh, the thing is, I have been getting more frequent migraine, ah, uh, and I thought it had something regarding my appetite. uh unless certain foods like caffeine chocolate can trigger migraine uh adalla just overeating konde mathram migraine varum nu enikku thonnilla i am not a really expert in that field but whatever i know uh, certain food stuff which can trigger migraine angana the caffeine coffee chocolate cocoa angana the karyangale ullu we have to be careful okay sir also i have got a personal uh question uh, sir in the number allengil uh, contact details kittu for uh, contacting i think for students and corporate we can give no issues okay sir okay that i think that's all uh, okay, if anybody want to ask any more doubts so uh, okay i think we can wind up sir shall we yes yeah okay thank you so much uh, giri sir for that wonderful and interactive session on coping with pandemic stress we all know that this year's world mental health day came at a time when uh, we our daily lives have changed considerably as a result of the covid-19 pandemic the past months have brought many challenges for healthcare workers for teachers for students like us because we uh, like nobody else in the history we had to adapt to uh, adapt to taking classes online with little contact with teachers and friends uh, it's okay to feel unstable it's okay to dissociate to hide from the world to need help it's okay to be not okay Mental health is one of uh, the most neglected areas of public health, and we celebrate World Mental Health Day every year in order to uh, give awareness to everyone out there. So, uh, in this World Mental Health Day, let's take a promise to ourselves that um, we refuse, or like uh, I refuse to stress myself over things I can't control or change. So, with that. let us conclude the session i thank girisa once again for um, agreeing to take a webinar on such short notice and to all those who participated in in the webinar and for all those who want to see the session we'll upload it later in youtube to uh, share it with your friends who need it and uh, let's let's be kind to each other thank you thank you thank you all and have a great day and stay safe okay stress free bye thank you thank sir thank you sir yeah